What's going on everybody? Adam Snyder here with the Homemade Entrepreneur back with another video. This one I want to talk about creating a passive income with Amazon FBA and how I do it. Now there is a lot of things people can do to create you know the somewhat passive income effect of the Amazon FBA business and you know, I've been running this business for long enough that I've transitioned from not just being the the one employee but now I use virtual assistants a lot, I use prep centers, I use you know, other sourcing methods other than retail arbitrage to really ramp up my business to scale, but at the same time take myself out of the whole equation. And I think that's what most people struggle with is the simple fact that, yeah, we want to make money and, and as an entrepreneur, we're all for it. However, money's great, but having money and then the time freedom you know, that kind of balances out that's what everyone's looking for and so that's why i want to kind of address you know how i create a passive income with my amazon fba business what i do to achieve that goal and what you can as well so let's hop my computer and i'm going to show you right now exactly what i do to turn my business into a passive income stream all right so you already know chances are you know what amazon fba is okay amazon fba or fba stands for fulfillment by amazon which means any products that i send to amazon's warehouse they are now going to fulfill that. So when a product sells, Amazon will ship it to the customer, deal with customer service, and I leave that up to them. So how do I create a, a passive income stream from my Amazon FBA business? Well, here's what I do. Here's me right here, this awesome, you know, stick figure guy. So what I do is I send, okay, or what I do is I order products from uh, either a wholesale supplier or account or from a private label um, you know from a manufacturer or something like that so I do wholesale and private label those are my two main passive income streams for Amazon FBA I also do online arbitrage now that's not as big as my wholesale and private label um, accounts or businesses so that's why I didn't include this here but here's what you need to understand is I place the orders of either a wholesale product or a private label product and I have those sent to Amazon to either a, a prep and ship company like a third party uh, you know a center that does all the work or if they do it I will have them send it directly to Amazon themselves so Amazon gets it when the product sells then Amazon ships it to a customer that's where it's passive okay what you need to understand let me show you something so right here this is if because I do have an account with Mattel and Fisher Price and a bunch of other bigger you know, brands. Now, so wholesale would be I come to Mattel and I say, hey, I want you know a hundred of these Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex figures. Okay, it's in stock. Well, they're not gonna charge me $39.99 for it. I'm gonna get a wholesale price for it. Okay. So I take that item, I order it, and I have them send it or well, with Mattel, they ship it out to my to uh, my actual office, and we prep it and we send it off to Amazon. Okay, so that is not wholesale, or that is not passive. That's more of an active income. So here's the difference between what I do and what a lot of other people do. Most people, right here, they do all the research to figure out where they can get a wholesale account with, what kind of private label they can ha uh, product they can have, or is profitable. Um, they do all the negotiation with the manufacturers or with the, you know, the, uh, the different wholesale suppliers or whatever, you know, the middlemen and they do all that work. Okay. So that's you doing all the work even before you place the order. What I do is I have multiple virtual assistants. One, all she does is she just tries to find me different wholesale accounts. That's it. She tries to find, you know, what's a good product that's selling on Amazon currently right now. And then how can I get a hold of that company or the, you know, the person behind it? So that's one of the benefits of what I do is I, I pay to have somebody else do all that upfront work. She sends me all the information and then I go on and contact the person to contact the, you know, the, the rep, the, you know, owner of the company, the founder, whoever it is, I contact them and see what do they need from me to potentially open up a wholesale account. So what you need to do and what I recommend to anybody, no matter what business you're in, okay, is use virtual assistants. Use somebody else. Use somebody else's resources, whether it's their, their software, their experience, their time, whatever it is, utilize that. 
because if you can leverage somebody else's time and resources, that saves you from having to do all that stuff. Yes, you pay for it, but would you rather pay for something that somebody else is better at, they're faster at, and they know more about, or would you rather struggle with it for a couple hours, two, three, four, maybe a whole day, trying to figure out, okay, can I buy this product? Who do I contact? What's their contact information? That's why I use a VA, and especially virtual assistants from Philippines, India, their English is not the best. However, they're very inexpensive, they work hard, and they're good at what they do. So let's talk about private label for a second, okay? So private label, how it works, okay? I usually use Alibaba or uh, DHgate. Um, those are probably the two main uh, companies or websites that I use. This one right here on my Alibaba, I look for a silicone tea infuser. Um, so you can see right here, you can get these right here for uh, 23 to 28 cents a piece for 100 units. So, you know, not bad. Was it 20, $28 for 100? Okay, cool. Well, right here, you got this three pack. You got the what, lemon, I don't know what that is, the mango? Lemon, lemon, orange, and a strawberry. Cool. Okay, so you have those three. They're selling a three pack for $8.99. But if you can buy them for, you can get a three pack for, 75 cents or a dollar there's money to be made right all i do okay let's go back to my example what i do is here's me okay i have a virtual assistant before me okay over here somewhere i have a virtual assistant go and look for products that i could potentially make money on and then send me the keyword send me the you know the different websites i can find it on whatever send me any information they can find so they're over here, they send me all that information. I look at it and I decide, yeah, that is a great product. Now I'm going to go in and look and see, okay, is it easy for me to rank for that product? Is it easy for me to do the listing, get the pictures? Is it easy for me to get on the first page on, of Amazon for my desired keyword or keywords? If it is, I'll go through with it. I'll order the product. We'll ship it off to Amazon. Okay, I'll do the listing and we'll do the pictures and we'll do all that stuff and the product sell. I do some pay-per-click and Amazon ships it to the customer. Simple, right? So if you haven't started to pick up on it yet, the key to my entire business, especially with Amazon FBA, the only thing that I do 100% is retail arbitrage. That's all I do, okay? For online arbitrage, I have a VA. Okay, actually I have three, uh, but the, my main VA, all she does is she runs tactical arbitrage or another software and she'll run it and she'll find a bunch of different items that I could potentially buy online, make some money on. So she will send me a list every single morning of all those items. I will go through it, I'll order what I want. I you know, don't order what I don't want and I go on with my day, okay? That's my online arbitrage. Wholesale, same thing, okay? Private label, same thing. I use a VA, a virtual assistant. You can use a virtual assistant. You can hire somebody in house. It doesn't matter what you do, but take some of the, the time uh, from yourself that you're spending doing these simple tasks that you could teach somebody else how to do it. Take those tasks and outsource it to somebody else. Utilize their time, their resources, their expertise, and take the money that you're earning from your business, invest it into them, Okay, because what you invest into them should come back, you know, threefold, maybe tenfold. Okay, so you invest $100 into a VA. Hopefully, you'll be able to make, instead of $100 back, you'll be able to make, you know, $500 or $1,000 back from the work that they put in. Okay, that's the key to making a passive income with Amazon FBA. So, the last thing that I just want to address is that Amazon FBA is a very active type of business if you make it out that way. Okay. I know a lot of people that they're they're grinding every single day they're doing the work and that that's awesome that's awesome for them for me and for what i want to do spend time with my family spend time you know running other businesses creating new income streams i don't want to be 100 percent active in my amazon fba business for me personally i'm probably 90 to 95 percent um you know inactive in that business so five to ten percent active inside my amazon fba business and it's simply because that's how I set it up. Now, could I make more money if I was if I took a greater part in my business? Yeah, I probably could. But that also means my my YouTube channel, my my other websites, my your know, courses, my you know membership sites, my you know consulting business, all those would take a hit because I'm more active in my Amazon FBA business. So 
for you. Answer this one question. If you have multiple businesses, you know, online or offline, doesn't matter, or you have a nine to five job, okay, it's understandable that you don't create a 100% passive income with Amazon FBA. You have, you know, a slightly higher active income in that simply because you don't have all these other things going on. But that doesn't mean you won't at some point. So just think about that and consider that. What do you have going on right now? And is Amazon FBA the best business for you to start a passive income? And the three ways I recommend doing a passive income with Amazon FBA is online arbitrage, wholesale, and private label. Those are those three things. If you can do those, just start with one. Pick one, okay? Become a real master of that, whether it's wholesale, online arbitrage, private label, and just double down, triple down, 10X your business. Because at some point, you're gonna realize that you can utilize other people's time and resources to really explode your business. And it's not until you realize that, that you're gonna go from you know $10,000 a month in profit to $50,000 a month in profit, okay? So just remember, your money and your resources is what's gonna propel you to that next level. So if you have any questions on how to create a passive income with Amazon FBA, let me know, ask your questions in the comment section below. I'm here to help, like I said, my business is mostly your know, passive income, okay? And that's the way I set it up. But do you have to create the same type of business that I do? No, create a business that you want, okay? That you like, that you will thoroughly enjoy and go from there. So hopefully you liked today's video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did and if you learned anything. Subscribe if you haven't done so already so you can see more and more of my daily uploads and I'll see you guys on the next one.